N1 virus has struck again, but this time it's not a student. As Alyssa Rainbow explains, not even religious institutions are safe from the spread of the so-called swine flu virus. Licks. Church may be the easiest place to spread germs and bacteria from person to person. From the sign of peace to the holy water, churchgoers encounter other people's germs multiple times during a typical mass. But the greatest risk of all lies in the most sacred part of the mass, the taking of communion. Due to the contagious nature of the H1N1 virus, the St. Lawrence Catholic Center announced earlier this month that it will be indefinitely suspending part of this sacrament, the taking of the wine, or as it is normally called, the blood of Christ. Last May, Kansas City Archbishop Joseph Nauman sent a letter to the St. Lawrence Center strongly urging the center to take precautions against the H1N1 virus. Because Catholics drink from the same cup of wine during communion, Father Steve Basso, director of the St. Lawrence Center, made the final decision to suspend the taking of the wine. In a special way, we thought since the virus is uh, especially susceptible with uh, young people, college-age students, we wanted to make sure even more so that we, we didn't do it here. Catholics believe the bread and wine physically become Jesus Christ's body and blood. According to church teaching, however, in order to be in full communion with the church, a person only needs to receive one of these. While the Mass may seem incomplete, Eucharistic minister Brian Thielen thinks that Father Bissot's decision could be beneficial. So not having it because of the H1N1 uh, flu outbreak um, technically means that we're more, we're more sound in our uh, teachings. Father Rousseau said that he will reinstate the blood of Christ into communion when threats of the H1N1 virus have passed. Alyssa Rainbolt, KUGH TV News. For more information on Catholic rituals and the H1N1 virus, please visit our website at www.kansan.com. While everyone is taking precautions to prevent the spread of the flu, we're still going to be without protection for a while. The biggest manufacturers of seasonal flu vaccines in the U.S. are delaying or reducing the number of doses shipped to U.S., partly because of the crunch to produce millions of doses of the H1N1 flu vaccine. Although more than half of the 50 million doses of seasonal flu vaccine were shipped to health care providers already, the rest may not arrive until November. Some delays have caused doctors to turn away parents seeking seasonal flu vaccines for their infants and toddlers. Other public health offices have canceled vaccination clinics.